In Jesus' victorious name, we pray. Once again, I welcome you in the truth of the matter, Jesus cares. Our message is Jesus cares. And I want you to believe that Jesus cares. Irrespective of the circumstances around you, Jesus cares. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, King of Glory, I want to thank you. I want to bless your holy name and your mighty. Have not grant us this such favor that we will call upon that name and lay our hope in you. Blessed be to your holy name. I thank you on behalf of all these men and women that listen. Glory be to your name. I therefore that pray, may that your word make impact in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, we welcome in the truth of the matter, Jesus cares. My message is that Jesus cares, and I'm pleading with you that you will believe that Jesus cares. In all things my folly around you, Jesus cares. So I want to bring out the message that says promotion in the midst of problem. Promotion in the midst of problem. That you must know that there is no anything that call on its own. It must get something that triggers something to happen. And that thing that triggers something to happen may be the road, may be the way to success. Now, we want to bring this message by looking the scriptures, if time permit. Now, the Bible tells us something. The Bible tells us about Elijah, about the famine in the land of Samaria. The Bible says that Elijah was the elder of the Israel. There was there doing what? You know, talking about things that no matter. But the Lord God already made way to uplift him. God wants to showcase his power. God wants to show what he's able to do. But Elijah and the elders are one place. They may discuss how to buy buy land, uh, do whatever, but it's not the program of God. And now, the message came to Elijah. What is the message? The king need the head of Elijah because it's useless that prophet like him will be in the land and cannot bring solutions and cannot, say, cannot inform the people ahead or find what to do. And so therefore, King found that it is not necessary for Elijah to leave. And it's true, and it's true, it's not necessary to leave. If you are a prophet, if you call yourself a prophet or you say that you are a prophet, God expects you to demonstrate that which is attached in his name, his honor. So therefore, when this message comes, Elijah senses come back. And Bible say, Elijah prophesied. And prophesy saying by this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, it will be abundance in the land of Samaria. You can see, this is a problem that comes to threaten Elijah's life. And Lord God allow it to be. And then God bring him out. If he, everything was okay, Elijah would not prophesy. If everything was okay, children of Israel will not get into abundance. So therefore, God from no way makes his way. From nothing makes something. From hopeless give hope. Where there is no hope at all. Bible say that he makes the race to be a parted way. How can how can he explain this? So therefore, in everything around you, give God glory and have hope. That God is making something good. God is changing things good. That is what a believer needs. Although sometimes it is not actually easy. When you are going through some traumas. Some even will forget the name of God. But however, example above for what the Lord can do. If Samuel was came in appointed time. Is of no need to Bible to carry to telling us how Anna have been going to Shiloh, how Anna have refused to eat, how Anna had do this every year, is because the situation of Sarah 
was so ugly in his eyes on her eyes before the sight of men. But God was preparing to create Samuel. Praise the Lord. So, you can see, in everything around, God has solution. God has made, you know that God will pre start preparing solution. Solution of that thing is already being. Example, you may, call, maybe you are, you are sick, and every now and then you are at hospital. And the result from hospital hospital are so bad. But you will find yourself, because of that, always you are praying, say, I will not die. You will not die. This sickness will not kill me. Because the Lord God is creating you to have the habit of the prayer in time to come. But you never know. All you see is that situation. But you can be here and say, witness. If there is no sickness, there is no more of fasting and praying. You will not remember it. Example about it before us men. Have you seen someone where when he's looking for a job, when someone is desperate to job, the person can pray, the person can cry, the person can do whatever to get the job. But God makes the job difficulties. It's not because Satan closed the door of John. It's because you may see that you are a special in the eyes of the Lord. And so therefore, God want to God training you for what beyond your imagination. But that moment, what you're seeing is only sorrow, only pain you are going through. But the Lord God is making something good in the means of that which you are called sorrow. Praise the Lord. So why you know that is true? Immediately you got the job. Highest one month, two months, all those things will be forgotten. Now imagine if there is no if we, if there are no that situation that prepare you to pray, to fasting for long months or even for years, it can imagine who you're supposed to be. It can imagine who you will be before the things of the Lord. So God know all these things. And in Maker's way, we are seen as no way. I give you an example. There is nothing God cannot do. I give you an example of myself. A year ago, many, many years ago, I think in year 2000 or 2001, I wanted to come, go to UK. By then, I was single. And... After planning everything, I and my friends, and these friends, before you know it, they move ahead before me. And uh, I set my own, my travel under two months, or I think two or three, four months, to make this travel. And now, I am I with my wife, but I can see myself travel, leave my wife there. I don't know what to do. Now, we are looking to prepare document for me and my wife so that we move at once. Process of that, things start, things start lingering. Before you know it, child came in. As the child came in, I decided to no more travel. And I forget everything because I find it difficult for only me and my wife. Now the baby came in, I cannot do one and otherwise. And I cancelled that thing out of my head and my brain. And I forgot it. Now what I want to bring you out, in the times, things seem so difficult. No solution. No way out. God already make way out. So, before you know it, years move ahead. Years pass. And I forget about this travel until in a pointed time of the law. In a pointed time of the law, when we are already six a number, you can see, I find it difficult to move. I and my wife was very difficult. 
and I try all my best how I can make so that we, we move together. And immediately, my wife took in, and the child come. I consider it no hope again. And I cancel travel to UK completely. I canceled it, and I didn't cancel it. I start regretting. My wife said, no, just let her forget here and leave, in, leave it where we are. Now, what happened? But time came that things change because times of God is the best. The God's time is best. Just a word. My wife say, Daddy, I wish that you went to go and visit London. Going to visit the UK and inquire what shall be done. Like a joke, like a joke. After like 15 years, 13 years, I find myself in UK and all of family in UK. So God can do all things at any time. And that didn't live there. I want to tell you when things get difficult, in that means, because before my wife said that, my wife was in pain. So now what I want to bring there, when I was in Africa to travel to come Europe, how did I travel to come Europe? How did I travel? I was in Africa. Those that in Europe will come. When they will come, sometimes their money will finish. I will borrow them money. Many of them never pay me. And when they notice that I didn't disturb, any person that come will come closer to me. The day to return back, it was, it was, the message is that you know have uh, uh, money, pocket money or whatever. And uh, I don't see myself leave that person visa to die there. I will keep the person. The person will promise. I say, I guess he get there, he will send the money back. They never send the money back. But a day come. One of my counselors called me say, Sir, I say yes. He said, these people that when they come, they take our money, then just disappear. Do you not think that is necessary to you to went there and see all how, how that Europe is? By then, we're talking about France. France, Germany. I tell the person, I'm not, I'm not prepared for that. And that is not in my program. And it's not in my program, actually. But as this man keeps stopping me, a day come, I move. And I went to embassy with nothing. Just went to France embassy. As I went to France embassy, I requested what I need. And the thing they had, they, they give, they said I should do. And I do that. After five days, visa come out. So what I want to bring, if you know that there are problem that these people taking my money running or taking whatever running, that's loose, that solution will not come. In the midst, the midst of trouble is what I bring in you. In the midst of trouble, God, that midst of problem, God make way. God bless you. That is what I bring into you. And if he, David didn't face Goliath, David will not be who he is today that you and I were talking. Goliath is a giant in the camp of the Palestinian and no one dare stand before him but the Lord God take David to training animal from animal in the bush knowing how to and make David to love animal and so that love bring David to love a woman being person that love animal will love a woman being will love a follow person more, much more so Trouble must be. But what problem or answer? What come out in that means of trouble? If you have patience, if you follow, if you believe that your tomorrow will be bright, if you believe that what God called you to be is what you are going to be, that no man, no power will change your destiny, and you focus on it in appointed time of the law, in appointed time of the law, the messenger must return because the Sarah will have a son. That is a God saying. What can you say about it? So whatever situation you are going through, 
Don't let that situation rob or steal your joy. Don't give up your hope. Don't give up your joy. Don't give up your future. That future, that hope you have, multiply it much more. Duplicate it much more in the midst of trouble. If there is no trouble see during the time of the apostles, it's of no use of Jesus Christ to say see and wait to be still. It's when trouble arrives, God brings solution. But that trouble that arrives, rise, come up to give you to give you hope of tomorrow, to make you that tomorrow you will be ill, to use it to save many. Your situation, your circumstances, what you call the ugly situation, may be the way to save souls that God are preparing you for. So, it's very important that we have patience and continue believing God. Don't give up your blessing. Don't give up your hope. Don't give up because things are not moving. Because you seek and the hospital has said whatever they can say. Hospital has told that there is no hope. Don't give up that there is no hope. Because even in the grave, Lazarus must rise. Now, talk less to you that are not dead. Talk less to you that are still alive. Why should we give up hope? So therefore, in everything, hope God. In everything, believing better of tomorrow. That is my advice for you, and that is my advice for all. Because God can never forsake his own. Neither God will kick his word. God says, in the midst of trouble, I care for you. In the midst of trouble, I go before you. And Jesus Christ say, even though you carry heavy lady, every trouble, heavy load, have all heavy matters, all kind of all kind of situation around you, all kind whatever that trouble or trouble you, Jesus Christ said, Come unto me, and I will give you rest. So therefore, I invite you to come unto Jesus, and he will give you rest in that means of confusion. Never you give up, say you have tried so much and you fail. Never you give up and saying that there is no hope of tomorrow. Hope abound much more as you can imagine. It may be the situation of your children, and when you look your children in pouring tears, I want to say, we have them once in the Bible, tell us about Jabez. Jabez was a child conceived with a sorrow, and her mother named, named him Jabez. But his name was changed, the God was changed that destiny, and God blessed him and make him honorable. He is God for you. So therefore, in every matter, in every situation, in every circumstances, we hope and believe in God. Don't be deceived by some appearance of circumstances you may see in your life, or even by what advice men and women may give unto you, but believe that you will make it. If you didn't make it tomorrow, if you didn't make it today, you make it tomorrow. One thing that God will share over you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, I thank you once again. Daddy, I glorify your name. Lord, I pray that the electro word, O oh God, will bring life and bring life abundance in Christ Jesus in us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that we'll have that strength and stamina, Lord, to stand and wait for the time appointed. Because the Lord God, who that promised to Gideon, that they will recover all those wasted years, the midnight have taken, the midnight have destroyed, the same God is still on the throne, and we know you continue walking wonder. Blessed be to your name. In Jesus' victorious name, I pray. And amen. I bless you. I thank you also in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to make you to understand. Jesus' care is my message. It doesn't matter what you may face today. It doesn't take away. That didn't take away the love of God. That didn't take away the care of the Lord. 
God care for you. So, I want you to embrace him and things will change. Praise the Lord. So, we remember who we are, the truth of the matter, Jesus cares. Don't forget to turn up and share. Subscribe. Tell others about. God bless you until we meet again.